Thanks, Ainsley. Former CIA Director John Brennan getting defensive after President Trump revokes his security clearance, claiming he's not political at all. Listen. I've been speaking out rather forcefully because I believe it's important to do so. Uh, I don't believe I'm being political at all. Derek Van Orden is a retired U.S. Navy SEAL himself, an author of a book of author of this book, Book of Man, a Navy SEAL's Guide to the Lost Art of Manhood. He joins us now to wave in. And one thing, Derek, you reached out because you saw that Bill McRaven, uh, former chancellor of the University of Texas System, uh, former commander of the Navy SEALs, uh, ripped Trump's uh, presidency and said specifically it would be an honor for you to take my security clearance away, too, in, uh, because he wants to stand by John Brennan. Does he speak for the SEAL community? Community. Absolutely not. Uh, no. Quite frankly, no. Uh, we have known for a long period of time that uh, the former Admiral McRaven has had uh, some what we would term very liberal political views, and that's his right as an American citizen, and we as SEALs really didn't comment on it publicly because he's never brought it to the forefront like he has now. Insulting a sitting president of the United States is completely uh, inappropriate for a former senior military officer uh, to do. So were you, these guys, you were surprised? We were shocked that he would come out and say these things publicly. It's just inappropriate for people of his station to do this. They must remain apolitical. Admiral Mullen was spot on when he was saying this, that uh, John Brennan's comments have gone so far past anything that could even be remotely considered apolitical that he has joined uh, he has gone to the other side he is now a, a political pundit and Admiral McRaven unfortunately uh, has also crossed into that realm and to be honest with you it's very painful for me to say this but that letter was written as if it, it reads like it was written by a petulant child whose friend was uh, bicycle was stolen in a park and he's pinned a note, up, a note up on a tree so for him to say that Admiral Brennan, I just want to make sure I get this properly here, is that uh, he has displayed unparalleled uh, integrity and honesty. So if, if Admiral McRaven says that John Brennan has displayed unparalleled integrity and honesty, it leads me to believe that the Admiral doesn't understand the definition of the word unparalleled integrity or honesty. John Brennan uh, very well may be under investigation for perjuring himself uh, in front of Congress. So does that count? The, the camp that these guys are setting themselves up in is uh, really a left-wing near Antifa level of dissent against the sitting president of the United States. Donald Trump has been doing an incredibly fantastic job as a president, and these guys continue to try to prevent him from doing the job that the vast majority of Americans agree with. So we've got right. uh, the polls that are coming out now with Republican support of the president are just amazing. So at well, the end of, of uh, Admiral McRaven's statement, he says that he's going to keep doing this until Donald Trump acts in a um, way that... Uh, they want him to act in. Well, he's not going to. Donald Trump is currently acting in a way that the m millions of Americans that voted him office, we want him to act in this manner because he's doing the job that he said he was going to do. And again, right. it's it's fully inappropriate for these guys to be making these type of statements. Well, so you were, uh, so you said too, Admiral Crave, I read his book, I'm in awe of his service. He's obviously got great leadership right. ability and what a commencement address he gave. And I've interviewed him a few times. But you believe that he is somebody who's, who's basically uh, a Democrat and upset with this Republican administration more than anything else? Yes, absolutely. Unequivocally. There's, there's really two things. Either the Admiral's judgment is so skewed that he can't understand that the guy that he is backing, Brennan, uh, truly is not who he says he is, or I believe that he's doing political posturing for a future run for office, which is his, his right as an American. If he wants to run for office, mm -hmm. the Admiral wants to run for office, then just come out and say you want to run for office. So, but quit uh, doing these types of things to denigrate a sitting president of the United States that's doing a hell of a job. Uh, uh, 60 intelligence uh, officers also denounced President Trump for his decision to strip away uh, the, uh, the top secret security clearance for John Brennan. What's your reaction to that? Well, the first 12, it's very interesting that uh, these guys would come out and say this. One of them is, of course, James Clapper, who also perjured himself in front of Congress. Another one is General uh, Petraeus. Uh, no one other than our friend uh, Richard, or excuse me, uh, Comey, testified in front of Congress that General Petraeus was hiding top secret documents underneath 
the insulation in his attic. And this is the person that Admiral McRaven wants lecturing our president about how to handle security clearances and uh, classified documents. I, I think that's wrong. Uh, Admiral McRaven, I'm sure, actually voted for Hillary Clinton. That's fine. That's his right as an American citizen. Hillary Clinton also set up an unsecured server in her bathroom in Washington. Uh, Derek Van Orden, uh, a Navy SEAL who's upset that the, one of the commanders of the Navy SEALs, uh, Admiral McRaven, coming out uh, and ripping President Trump and saying it would be an honor to have my security clearance stripped as well. Uh, Derek, thanks for your perspective. Appreciate it. You bet. Take care, Brian. You got it. Uh, straight ahead. President Trump's legal team.